Hi everybody, it's Christina and I am taking my lunch break and decided to come in my craft room and alter something because I'm in the mood to alter. So I have a lot of these recipe boxes from Michael's that I got, I don't know, either in the $1.50 bin, maybe the $3 bin. And I just purchased this pad here from Stampin' Up! and it is called All A Bloom and there's lots of really pretty papers in here so I picked this color or this pattern and the light green pattern with the polka dots I took some sheet music out from a very old book here so that's all I've done I've just uh, I took some Mod Podge mixed it with water and glued all I cut out all the pieces and then I think I'm going to do a wash of gesso. I'm going to mix some gesso with some water. I'm going to do a whole wash on this. And yeah, then I'm just going to embellish it. I think I'm going to put some feet on it. But we'll see where this goes. So follow along.
So I'm just going to show you the whole box now because I had I did a bunch of stuff um, um, off camera. Otherwise, um, the way, video would be too long. So uh, this turned out really pretty, and then I added some bling there, and then all the sequins went around the box. And the little houses are so sweet. And then here I did some stamping, and that's from the stamp set I used. This little, the three little birdies there. And then here the diamond dust. That turned out really nice. I like that. And I already glued the legs on the bottom or the spools on the bottom. And I have a, a, um, a, a letter stamp so I let stamp some letters there. It's a metal embellishment there. Metal embellishment there, the butterfly. I use that stamp again right here. And then the top of the box, there, there are the flowers. Inside, there's a mini. I made a little mini to go with it, so I'll show you that as well. And then I covered, or I filled the with some paper on the inside cover there and the bottom. Uh, for the inside here, I stamped "Journey Through the Sun," and I just did. Um, I hot glued some flowers on. And then for the mini album, I took some paper bags. These are paper bags that I usually just pick up at, um, say, the grocery store and the deli section or the bakery section. So I used a bunch of these and I just folded them in half. Um, I used some Stampin' Up! envelopes and I used some coin envelopes. And then I just put them on top of each other with some coin envelopes and I uh, sewed right down the center. See and there's my stitching. I use green thread. Oops. And this is what I came up with. So there's the front. And the paper I used here was by Webster's, it's Webster's Pages, and the set is called, let me find the front cover, the set was called Sunday Picnic and Everyday Poetry, and it's a combo pack. Cut the little saying out, family. Cut this little sweet summer memories out. I have a tag here. This is some of the paper from Webster's Pages paper. And this is from Michael's. And a little birdie embellishment. And I cut the house out from the paper. And so this is um, exactly what it says, sweet summer memory. So these are some of the photos that I took with my iPhone over the last couple of months and I've glued or I've and I put them in here. So here um, and, and most of these all these images either come from books that I have that I scanned on my computer, uh, journaling cards that I've um, got on my I have a uh, Pinterest. I have free print free printables and not so free and there's tons of stuff in there and I'll just go in there and find something I like, save it to my computer and print it out. So I wrote here today I uh, oh yeah today I snitched a t-shirt from my son's suitcase haha ha. he said it was okay and this was the t-shirt that I snitched from his suitcase And then on this side, she I cut her out and scanned her from one of my children's books. 
and glued a heart here and then this is a pocket and oh and by the way this isn't totally finished this mini out this little mini book um, I'd say it's 90% finished so here's just a little mat I uh, took a picture um, from Mark's beach and we tried to spend as much time as we could this summer on the beach or at the lake I should say And um, I just wrote here, we love going to we love going to the beach. It was 90 degrees. A lot of times it was 90 degrees this summer, and the water was so warm. And I got this great date stamp from Stampin' Up. And I love it because um, it's got all kinds of fun sayings on here. Uh, it says, RSVP, save the date, uh, best. I can't read it. It's so small even with my glasses on. But... Um, so you, they've got a bunch of sayings here, and then on this side, you can put um, the month, the day, and the year. So, love this little stamp. It's perfect for journaling. And then here, this is one of those coin mini, um, the coin envelope. So it's a little pocket in here. Uh, so I tossed a picture in here. I still have to mat it. Oh yeah, I did some canning. So I'll be able to journal about that right here. And then one of our beach days, see I was able to stamp it right there. Uh, best day ever, August. Well, I don't remember the day, but at least I've got August 2014 there. And here um, I took our sandals and found some twigs on the beach. And wrote, or got the letters L-O-V-E. And then here on this page, um, I just, from the same paper, from the Webster's Pages, I glued it down, didn't glue this part down, so I can pop a little picture in there. And um, if you follow me on Facebook, you know that uh, I put this pasta container on my head. As my status on Facebook, I put pasta terry, pasta fairy in, question mark, question mark. Love this paper, it's so cute. And then here's another picture of uh, I'm on the beach, just relaxing on the beach. And here it was our, our um, anniversary, our 11, our 11 year of wedded bliss on the uh, August the 13th, or August the 16th. And hubby bought me some flowers. and took a selfie of my husband and I and this was the coin envelope so um, in this pocket here um, I also went to Vancouver to vis visit my boys and then my son and I we went to uh, an art store in Vancouver one of my, f my favorite art stores called Opus One and we also went to, uh, my oldest son and I went to Granville Market. It's just an amazing market. It's like 30,000 square feet of fruits and vegetables and every food imaginable you can think of. The best breads and cheeses and meat and ay ay ay, it's just amazing there. So there's a picture of my oldest um, at the market. I don't know, he was buying some fruits and vegetables. And here's another pocket. Toss some pictures in here. Oh yeah, there's some of the... I took some pictures of the fruit and the flowers. And then um, the purpose of going down to Vancouver is my husband and I were going to a wedding. So just the day before we left, I painted my toenails and my fingernails. And here I took a picture of uh, the night before. I've got my suitcase and my bags. Everything's packed and ready to go. And I took a little picture. I had made a, a homemade card for the bride and groom. And while I was visiting my two oh, my two boys in Vancouver, they share an apartment together and. Uh, one of them's got a little Pomeranian. His name is Teddy and he's so sweet. 
And there's another pocket. There's a picture of my dad, and my dad's dog is, um, he's part Poodle, Bichon, and Shih Tzu. And his name is Lucky. And here's a page. I don't have anything on it yet. I possibly could put a picture there. And they made this little uh, tag book and opens up and I've got can't can't do a mini without putting Indy in there and this is Indy my my cat Indy and you can't she's sleeping here uh, in the laundry room can't see her eyes because they're closed and here she's really look at that look at that figure she's making cute and in this pocket nothing in there and nothing's happening here yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there because I still have some uh, summer pictures to print on my selfies. So, and then there is there's a really nice picture of I was going over one of the bridges in Vancouver. I think it was the Camby, maybe the Camby Street Bridge. Uh, so yeah, so I haven't done much at the end part yet. And then that's just the back. That was a fun project. I totally love making this little mini book and the little box for my mini to go inside there. Well that's it for today everybody. Thanks for watching and a very warm welcome to um, my new subbies. Welcome to my channel and I hope you're all having, um, it's Labor Day weekend so I hope, I hope everyone is going to have a, a great weekend and I hope that the sun shines for everybody. And I appreciate your time and your attention. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye, everybody.